If you fight another man's battle, you will carry another man's bruise. No revelation, no results. You're welcome to a movie channel where you don't just watch movies, but revelation. Those who have been enjoying our content know that we don't just release stories, but revelations and deep mysteries of the kingdom. There's one thing you need to help us do, which you have not been doing, which is not good enough. 20k views, 500 likes. 100,000 views, 1,000 likes. It's ought not to be so. Because when you do that, your attitude to the content gives YouTube a picture that you are just watching it and you don't like it. And then this will not allow YouTube to recommend it to other people. The best you can do to support this channel is when you come, you confirm if you are still subscribing, you like the content. It doesn't cost anything. Like before you watch and you share the video on maybe your WhatsApp platform or any of your social media platforms. By doing that, you are publishing the good news of Christ. You are here to watch another movie. Let's change your narration. Even as I'm speaking now, click the like button, share, subscribe. Let the algorithms know that people want to watch content on this channel so it will reach other people. Thank you very much. God bless you. It is my time to sound my sound. Hey, my father, my God. Hey, where is my sound? See, my sister, no man will see a woman like you and ask you out. Very soon, by God's grace, I'm gonna meet my own husband. You know, today is the first day of my wedding. And I've been waiting for this day like for the past. Only God knows. Your ways are not my ways, neither your thoughts are my thoughts. Of that girl, Jasmine, hope she dressed well today. God assures me that game solar is God's perfect way for the lifestyle. My brother, I will still give it to you in Jerry. What do you mean? Eh, hey, my borrow, I'm going to let you See the way you are talking. Get to yourself, Mr. Man. My things are not for public consumption. What is going on? Why are you always crying? Should have entered the kitchen and prepared food for yourself. Yeah. Um, I believe you enjoy your marriage. Ah! I am enjoying my marriage, guys. You know, marriage is sweet. Most especially when you are with the right person. You need to work on your marriage before entering into it. Could you believe my wife locked me out? I slept outside yesterday. How possible is that? It looks like two of you have been here. Do you want your will or the will of God to come to pass in your life? I'm sorry. I said no! Me? Yes. Out of my mind? Yes. Hmm. Dad, 
left us just two sons. He was a fortunate man. Look at this beautiful house. The legacy he left behind. Hmm. Yes. He was a fortunate man. Successful career. Beautiful home. And countless other properties. Nelson, this house is just too beautiful. Too bad that he left us so soon. May he so rest in peace. Halt there, Matilda. My father is happily dead and gone forever. There's no such thing as a soul anywhere. What, my, what, what has come over you, Matilda? I, I, I'm sorry, Nelson. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. Look, Matilda. We are learned people. People of reasoning. Not just on some slack illiterate, wallowing in shallow, misleading mentality. Once a man is dead, he's dead and gone forever. There's no soul or spirit anywhere. Look, don't you understand? I, I'm sorry, Nelson. I shouldn't have said that. Now I understand. I understand. Look, Matilda, let's stick to what we know. There's no room, no space for superstition in our lives. You're right. That's okay. Hello, Mom. I'm there already, Ma, although I'm still outside the gate. Thank God you got the place without much stress. I'm so happy. Emmanuel, you are there for a purpose. Please, don't ever forget Jesus. Face your work. Concentrate on your projects. And don't forget, be very, very obedient to your supervisor. Let him see Jesus on you. Yes, my I will, ma. I even had that Professor Nelson Paka is a very nice man. And I'm glad to be his supervisor. May God Almighty continue to be with you, man. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, ma. Uh, all right, bye. Talk to you later, ma. Do I know you? Um, I'm Emmanuel Nelson. I'm a master's student of the University of Great Brown University. I'm the supervisor, sir. Oh, well, that's you. Oh, good. Oh, have you, sir? I saw your performances, and I must confess, I am impressed. You are indeed a very brilliant student, just like me. Thank you so much, sir. Um, all glory belongs to God. Hey, hold on. I, I beg your pardon? I said all glory belongs to Hey, hold it there, young man. That is an abomination. Here, that name must not be mentioned because it doesn't exist. Anything you become in life is as a result of your hard work. A non-living and a non-existing personality cannot influence your success. Look around you. Take a look. That is to let you know that that name, that man, God, is no man. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> make sure you see Professor Matilda Parker so that she can orientate you. You are too brilliant to be fooled into believing the existence of false. 
And um, what's that your name again? Emmanuel, sir. What? I will not admit to the existence of false with you. From now, you are um, Noel. Okay? Okay, sir. Prof! I worked hard to get where I am today. And so I have earned the honor, Prof. And you must address me as one. Okay? O okay, Prof. Good. With all this, ma, they are. Shh. Prof, I am Professor Maltida Paka. Understood? Yes, Professor. They are devotional books I use to develop my spirit and my soul, just as I use food to develop my physical. Oh, please, Noel. There is no spirit, nothing like a spirit. Feeding your spirit? Nonsense. Professor Matilda, there is a spirit and God is the source of our spirits. If the spirit of a man is not of top quality, the productivity will show for it. Don't be foolish, young man. A young boy that has done so well at this your age. Whatever you become today, it's by yourself. Prof. Listen, Noel. Read books that will add value to your intellect and broaden your horizon. All right? I will let all the foolish words you said to me slide for today because you are new here. If you keep on with this mentality, Trust me, you are going to have a difficult stay here and your master's level may be your last. <sighs> no sense. Oh God, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? What have I gotten myself into, God? Oh. God, I hacked you before I came here and you gave me the go ahead. How am I going to survive in the midst of this eighties without compromising? Oh Lord, help me. I guess trouble in paradise. I'm sorry, I thought I was doing. Don't come, I'll be seated. I am Daniel. Um, but in here, you call me Danny. I'm a master student and Prof. Nelson Sovaisi will be roommate. Are you comfortable with the old God is prohibited of it in here? Why not? <laughs> Prof is right. You see, it is luck that has brought me this far. And I will not allow one invisible God somewhere to complicate my success. Not at this point. What? See, if it's to throw God away, that will make me survive this place. <laughs> I would do it with all pleasure. I would throw him away or discard him. Let me advise you, if you want to survive this place, you just have to put God aside. Enjoy the moment. Do you get it? But come to think of it, the Danny I know in the Bible never compromised even when he was thrown into the lion's den. 
you're funny. <laughs> My name is Akiola Daniel. I'm not the one in the Bible. So don't preach to me. I, I, I will just advise you that if you want to survive this place, you just have to go do away with all this your false belief. Uh, but for me, Akiola Daniel, God is nowhere. <sighs> you're welcome. Oh God, I'll bless you. See, let me put your bag in the wardrobe. Yeah, um, you see, see what I've written here? You need to widen your scope of study. Yes, sir. It's too limited here. And all the places that I've underlined, you need to, they're not clear enough. Rephrase them, understand? Yes, That's sir. just that. And you need to expand your scope of study. Go and work on it. I've written some things there. And you too, your. You see, the same thing here. See all the places underlined? Yes, Not clear enough, you need to adjust it. And um, your research methodology, you need to do better on that. The methodology is not, is not clear enough. Yes, see here, I'm giving you all that. <clears throat> and I need them tomorrow. Thanks, Laura. Thank you. Oh, so Danny and uh, Noah. Yes, bro. Let's get some bread. Thank you, sir. Yes, bro. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What's the matter? I don't think I'll go, sir. What? You don't do what? That's absurd. There is no harm in taking alcohol as long as you don't drink it to stupor. Besides, it helps you to relax. Come on. You have a problem. You have a problem. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up, man? What's up? That's my brother. That's my brother. So good to see you again, man. Come on, Tony Parker. Oh, man. I'm a man of intellect. In here, you conduct yourself with decorum and serenity. Chill, man. Relax, bro. Down the way to work on your brother, ain't it? <laughs> Professor Nelson. I worked hard to get it. I earned it. So you address me as a professor. Besides, you didn't tell me you were flying in today. Hey, yo, bro. Plans change, really. Plans change. Hey, yo, where's Matilda? Professor Matilda! She'll be inside. Oh, nice. Man, look, he's so fine, honestly. Funny, man. That's come, my brother. Come with me. Yeah, bro. You're not crazy, innit? Yeah, what's up? What's up, guys? Guy, come here. What is wrong with you? Who are you trying to say earlier? That your God or believe does not accept at all? Yes, exactly. You read my mind. Oh, ah. Guy, if Paul could find out that you are God said it, you're going to have a tough time here. What do you expect if I cannot compromise my faith? Hey, ah. Listen, Noe. This will be the last time I'll be advising you. The next time you try this, I'll personally turn you in. Uh, wait, have you forgotten that we are competitors? And I can do anything to push you out just to get what I want. So don't think that your secrets are safe with me. Okay, dear dear. You say you should drink alcohol, you say you're not drinking. That dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, Jesus, help me. Lord, help me. Help me. I can't survive this alone. Lord, I need your help. I need your help. Help me. I dwell under your shadow, under your secret place, Lord. Listen up. Amen. Okay? 
Get this done on time. Nigeria really sucks. I can't tell you to stay here, man. No, I can't. Tony, um, you have to calm down. You know, you were departed, remember? Hey, listen up. Listen up. My brother must not know that our soul is proud to over there. And I was deported. Okay? So you've got to do something in a real time, man. I'm trying, okay? Just give me more time. I'm trying. Okay? What? Just give me more what? time. Man. Get on my phone, man. Get on my phone. What? Oh, Noel. <laughs> I am impressed. This is just too good. You know, with this project, you can get a scholarship from anywhere in the world. Any university, name it, Harvard, Cambridge, Oxford, anywhere. That is good. This is good. <laughs> Professor Nelson. Yeah. See this. Noel! What is this? What is this? Now, read it. Read it! Read that place. Read it. Read it! Dedication and acknowledgement to this, sir. Um, this research is dedicated to God, my Father, and the Lord for the wisdom to write this research with. And for the acknowledgements. My special gratitude goes to my very supportive and patient supervisor, Professor Matilda Papa, for his unrelenting efforts constant guidance and advice that led to the success of this project. The Lord is your reward, sir. And may your heart's desires and longings be granted in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, sir. How dare you? How dare you bless me with such filthy name? Huh? You want to mock my success? I am me. I made me. Yes, I am what I am today by my own personal efforts. You want to insult my intelligence? You want to insult my intelligence. Professor Matilda, append my stamp on Daniel's project and submit it to the board. I am awarding him the scholarship. And you, Noel, you will get a new topic for your project tomorrow. You are starting all over again. Nonsense. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Bro. Thank you. You idiots. That serves you right. Huh? You are starting all over again. Huh? No matter what happens, I will not compromise. Huh? Florence for the You're welcome. Emmanuel. I can't remember the last time I heard somebody call me that. Thank you so much, Florence, for reminding me who I am. You're welcome. I heard about your project. And I heard it took you like six months before you can put it together. So how have you been holding up with it? I'm trying to, to be sincere, but I, I'm getting weak. Let me advise you. We are all Christian in the hand of this atheist. We just have to dance to their tune. I can't bring myself to deny God. I know he lives. I will advise you to put this God and Jesus of it in all to yourself. Because the last person that tried it with Prof. Adams, one of Prof's supervisors, he regretted it. Prof made sure he did not graduate. And of course, Another school took him. His future was ruined. Uh -huh. That's serious. I'll advise you. Be wise, Emmanuel. Just declare it with your mouth that God is nowhere. At least you have him in your heart. And save yourself from this unnecessary problem. Thank you so much, guys. Mom, I don't think I can continue to endure this. 
I know this is a very difficult decision for you and I to make. But I kindly uh, advise you to play soft, play along with him. You have very limited time to stay there. What? Dickiness Olua that asking me. Is this coming from you? <sighs> Emmanuel, I'm very sorry to take this stance. You have to be careful. You have to play along. Play along. Use wisdom. You know, people pay a lot of money for them to be allocated to that professor. I don't want you to jeopardize that opportunity. It may never come again. I don't believe it is coming from you, Mom. We are all teachers about the three Hebrew boys. The Matthias are not denying Jesus even at the point of death. Emmanuel, listen to me. I want you to cooperate with me. Wake up. Your future is at stake. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's why I'm saying use wisdom. In a few months or years, we'll be done with it and you'll be able to go back to your belief and your faith. I don't want you to jeopardize this opportunity. It may never come again. Emmanuel, wisdom is very, very profitable to direct. Okay. Bye, son. <laughs> Waiting this up. Ah, is there not always been again? Why are you training the senior? God's had it. Precious son of Jesus. Oh, don't tell me you are giving up soon. Danny, please stop. I'm not in the mood. See, I don't care about your home. It's a time for you to know and get to understand that God is nowhere. This is enough evidence for you to know God is nowhere. If he is here, will he allow you to be suffering and toiling on a project? You even miss a scholarship. Hey, does God want that much for you to ruin your life? For? Danny, I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. See, you know what to do. And it's very simple. Just go out there and apologize to Prof. Tell him you are stupid, tell him you are ignorant. Feed him with what he wants to hear. Tell him God is nowhere, tell him there is no God anywhere. You know what this man wants, just feed him with it and you'll be fine. God, I don't want to do this. Please say something. Don't be quiet at this crucial point. No, you don't have a choice. Save your future before it's too late. What am I even saying? Why do I even care? You see, um, I think your coming here is a blessing for me in disguise. And because I just got a scholarship that should be yours. Thanks for being foolish, man. See you around. Danny, Danny, are you leaving me? This ain't funny no more. It ain't funny no more. You and I know that I didn't kill Jess. I didn't kill Jessica. Cops find the fingerprint at the crime scene. You know what? It's just a matter of time. The cop will find you. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't kill nobody. You're a gunner, bro. You didn't do it. But you're a prime suspect. You're gonna go to jail, bro. You, you, you man. Uh, you. No, no, this ain't gonna happen to me, man. This can't be happening to me. No, I didn't kill nobody. I didn't kill Jess. I just wanna leave this goddamn country and I'm stuck here right now. No, man, I didn't kill. I didn't kill. I didn't kill. I'm innocent, man. I'm innocent, man. Tony Parker. Oh. Hey, 
When are you going back to college? Uh, soon. Tell you something. Tell you something. Prof. Hey, little man. And about the property over there. I'll call my lawyer to take it over from you. I hope you're here with the documents. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. That's good. Hey, where do you think you're going? Well, you said you are going for the international seminar today. Uh, yes, I did. But you are not going with me. Ah. Yes, I told you. If you want to learn from me, if you want to gain from my influence, then you must do what I say. You must do what I want. You, man. I'm so ruined right now. I'm so ruined. What do I do? My brother must not know about his property. He mustn't find out. Now this is it. If I'm gonna die, then I'm gonna die this once. I wanna stay back to see my brother shame me. Yes, I'm gonna do it. And now, I'm gonna do it and now. Professor Nelson, please. I need to attend this seminar. If I didn't, it will affect me. It has a lot of influence on me and my career. See, I will not be able to get a job if I didn't attend this meeting. Even the certificate I will get from this job, it has a great influence on my CV, please, sir. Look, I told you before. I told you that I was going to ruin your life. And I'm still going to ruin your life if you don't listen to me. Give me my bag. Call you down here. Collect my bag from me. Give him my bag. Give him the bag. You follow me. Emmanuel, I will curse you if you ruin your life. This is nothing but stupidity. Are you the only Christian? Listen to me. Listen very well. Are you why are you toying with your life? This beautiful opportunity that you have. Please subscribe. Hey, man. What? Hey, what's up with you, man? What? Tony, what are you trying to do? Look, I'm tired, man. I want to end my life right now. I want to end it all here, man. Now you see. See. It ain't, man. How dare you invade my privacy? Just stay back and leave me. Let me die, man. Let me have it. Let me have it. Mr. Tony, swear with your life that you really want to die. Like you want to kill yourself. Look, man, I'm so ruined right now. I'm really ruined. Look, the more I try to save myself, the more I get deep down in it. Look, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I just can't help myself. Do you mind sharing with me? I got expelled from college. I got friends for mother. I got tilt up, I got tilt of my brother's properties, and top of I got deported. I know this is hard, but you have hope that I know of. Come on, man. That's funny, right? That's so funny. A man in trouble trying to give solace to another man in trouble. I'm just another man in trouble, man. How come you have a heart to console me? Tony, I'll be fine. <laughs> I need to ask you a question. 
I need to really ask you a question. How do you manage to get happy and not sad despite all this stuff going on here? How? I guess God allowed your brother to reject me today because he wants me to save a life. Hey man, take the name off my ears. Take it off. You too. Listen now. Okay? Listen to me. God is nowhere. Jesus is fake. Look, I tell you for free on a lineup. The Bible is some sort of storybook. And Christianity is false reality. <laughs> Listen, that was our father's teaching. I am proudly an atheist, man. And where has that gotten you to? You see, it is even just like walking through a dark tunnel with your own candle. God is the most important factor in a man's life. Without God, you are just like a car without an engine. Useless! My father told me that God is nowhere. And I believe it because he said so. <laughs> it's not your fault. You only believed what he said. Can you just give yourself the opportunity to embrace God's goodness? God is real. Jesus is God and he's very much alive. Listen up. My father and my brother, they were successful without that false man. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, apart from God, you are just like an ornament plant without fruit. Well, that is so me. That right here is so me. I feel so empty. With no sense of purpose in existence. I'm sorry you are feeling this way. Maybe this is God trying to draw you back to Him. You need Him more than ever before. Then if there's God somewhere, if God is somewhere, then you should watch me suffer. You should watch me go through all this pain, man. You shouldn't. God uses the efficacy of our crisis to bring us back on track. You'll be fine, my brother. And I need help, man. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Times of refreshing. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. Hmm. Noel. Noel. Why did you choose to end your career that has still started? <laughs> what is this? Mm. It's all right. We shall see. Go that far. What? What is it? How could you plant a tract in front of his room? Because your existence here is a threat to my success. Daniel, this is not fair. And I will report you to Prof. He will report me to Prof. Why fool? Ah. See, no one will believe. I only beat you in your own game because I know everyone will suspect you. After all, you are you are the God's addict. Daniel, 
Do you know what? One thing I will never regret in my life is standing my ground for God. Even if my life will be rendered useless, let it be useless for a good cause. Don't think you can win a game with God at your last day, Neil. Neil, you know you're so bored, right? You really, really got some nerves. Huh? I heard about the tract, man. I heard about it. <laughs> Listen. How did you... How did you... How? Like, you seriously have no fear, do you? <laughs> Tony, believe me. I didn't do it. It was all set up by Daniel to pull me down. What? Damn. Look, man, no one's gonna believe you, right? No one is really gonna believe you. That's so sad, man. Well, I believe it's for the right cause. And if it pleases God, He will vindicate me. Hmm. Alright. And you know, you see, about God, what you were telling me the other time makes some sense. But you know one thing, my dad then teach me or raise us up in that way. But but no one thing. Um, you know. Tony, anytime you are together, call me Emmanuel because that is my name and it means God with us. Seriously? God is with us? Yes. Jesus is God. And he came here on earth to be killed so that we can be saved. What? Killed. That's so sad, man. That's so sad. My condolences, man. <laughs> Jesus loves you so much. He loves us so much that he left his beautiful throne up there in heaven to come and suffer for the sins we committed. That's so funny, man. That's really, really funny. How can a man, I don't even know, love me so much and die for me? He must be stupid, man. Really stupid. That shows the level of love he has for us. And he left the word for us in Matthew 11, 20 to 30. Let me read this for you. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest to your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my body is light. But, but, I don't, what's, what's that? That shows the level of love that God has for you. All your bodies must be submitted to Him. Every of your bodies must be submitted under His feet. Just come to the cross, and He's going to save you. He's ready to save you. He loves you, but hates the sin you commit. You sent for me, ma'am. Yes, I did. You didn't go with God to send me. Yes, ma'am. I, I was being punished. Oh. Good. Sit. Oh. Neil. Don't be unwise. With your fruitless religion. Read my lips. There is God nowhere. If you didn't believe in God, then why did you tell me that there is so much bitterness in your heart because you lost your two children and that your womb got damaged because of infection? What? How did you know this much? It's only Nelson and I that knows about this. Hey, so you have done research on our family. Who told you? He that is everywhere did. God told me that your two children 
Olivia and Oliva died about five years ago. What? You even know their names? How did you know this much? What is happening to me? No. I, I can't believe this. I don't believe in the existence of an invisible. Oh. You have done research on our family. Is that why you are here? Professor Matilda, what killed your children? Of course, death! Death killed them, and your God allowed it. Hmm. Professor, I thought you didn't believe in the invisible. So how come you believed in death when you have never seen it for once? Deep down, I know there is a God somewhere. But I can't just accept it. I can't! Because He has failed me. God never fails. We are doing our failed Him. Was Professor Nelson the biological father of those children? No. He lost those children because their real father's genotype was AS. And we are also AS. Those innocent children died because they were SS. Now tell me, how has God failed you? Yes, come in. Hey, you, man. What's up? How you doing? Yeah, no. See, I'm thinking something. This your punishment is actually some sort of blessing in disguise, really. I concur. Right. Then, one thing. Look, I've been reading this book flipping through the pages and saying something I don't really understand. It's really kind of hazy, can't really get it. Come closer. Okay. <coughs> Is it to me? The Bible says that's common to me. All ye that are labor and are heavy laden. He said, I will give you rest. So it is this rest that God wants to give you. This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable, unthinkable, unimaginable. Oh, no, 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 no. My project rejected after 35 years of no rejection? No, I can't just imagine it. Uh, this embarrassment is too much for me. Professor Nelson. Oh, this is so sad. Huh? What is this? What is this? That is it all. I found it at the doorstep of our bedroom yesterday. I knew I must have dropped it. Noel? Noel! What's, what's going on? That's, that's prop, right? What's going on? What's going on, man? Noel! Noel! Yes, Professor. You, you the stupid boy, you brought an unclean and untrue news into my own house. Uh, I don't understand, sir. Hey, hey, you bro, I'm sorry, Prof. Uh, can we just calm down and avoid jumping to conclusions? What's going on here? You will leave my house today. Get out. I don't want to see your face again in this house. Bro, bro, stop. I promise I will not pay you, sir. I will not. I do. You, Daniel, I give you 24 hours. 24 hours to look into that project and deal with it. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Get out of my way. Yes, bro. Get in. You see what it was? You see what it was? You see what it was?
So, um, Emmanuel, are you, are you going to leave me right now? Tony, don't worry. You'll be fine. Hey, she really want to console you. Uh, one more thing. We determined to be able to break into rooms. Because anybody that cannot see the end is already behind. Guy, I mean, where would you be heading to from here? I mean, some number, some address, I could just contact you and give you a call. Probably your new location. Me. You scared me by the cop. What happened? Ah. Hey, Mom. I um, drove so um, a truck in his house and he sent me. Prof so what? Tracts. Tracts? Yes, ma'am. Emmanuel. Ma. Tracts? After all I told you about your need to use wisdom. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mom, you are what people should believe me. It wasn't my fault. Will you shut up? I should believe you. It wasn't your fault. Yes, I told you to use wisdom. Huh. I told you. You will not be living with my prof for a long time. And at the little time you are there that you should use wisdom. Mommy. <laughs> should I understand me, ma? <laughs> what, what should I understand? Have you forgotten when David found himself in the Philistines' palace? You forgot that he had to pretend to be mad? Ha, mommy. So you are better than David? Ha. Baba Jesus, you are better than David. Mom. Uh, and so then, what? What do you? Why are you here now? Yeah. With all this, Mom. Emmanuel, you are not staying here. Ha, me. You cannot stay here. I don't have anywhere to go, ma. Emmanuel, my dear son. Yes, ma. Do you know how much some people will pay to have prof supervise them? Were you going to live in Prost House forever? I told you, use wisdom for the little time you will be with him. Don't show that you are a Christian. Ah, I want me. Yes, I ah. said it. Ah. I said it. Ah. Emmanuel, Ma. I don't have much time. I'm still going now. Please, you can't stay here. You can't stay here with me. Ma. You cannot stay here. Read my lips. You cannot stay here. Ma Mommy! Will you leave me alone? That's the door. Ah, mom, you can't do it. Mom, you can't stay here.
now or what? Where do I go from here? Maybe I can just go to your friend's place. Ah. I can't believe this happened. After all these years. Daniel! Daniel! Yes, Paul. Yes, Paul. Yes, Paul. I guess you are still finding it difficult to get the solution. I'm on it. I'm on it, sir. I'm already... I'm done with the... Your time is up. Now, I want to look at the positive... Your time is up. Get out of my house. Please, bro. I, 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 I can solve it. Get I, out of my house now! I can, I can, I can Get out! I can't find it. I can. Man, look. She's been alone. What happened? Let me open it and go inside. Mano. What happened? Now, why do you look like someone that is going through a lot? It's a long story, David. Okay. Could you believe that Professor Nelson Parker sent me out of his house because I refused to compromise my belief in Jesus Christ? And even my mom, she asked me to leave because she feels I'm supposed to blend with the professor's belief system. Um, I'm very sorry for that, brother. You know, sometimes setback can be set up for a comeback. Um, don't lose your brother. Mm -hmm. 
I know David, but I'm just trying to figure out the, the next steps. Uh, um, okay, okay, so what's on your mind? Do you remember Tony? Tony? That guy I told you of. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling that um, somebody is trying to set him up, like someone wants to ruin his life. How, how do you know that? I have had this conversation on the phone. Okay. And the person was trying to, I don't know, it's something like it's calm or it's set up. I can't really figure it out. Since you know that, why don't you inform him? I don't need to call Tony. While I was with him, I copied the scammer's number. Okay. I think I just have to call him right away. Oh, that's very good. Please do. Hello, Mr. Man. This is Emmanuel. Now, listen and listen attentively. I overheard your conversation with Tony Parker. I would advise you that you end it now. Because if you do not, everything you have will go for it, including your life. We both know it all lies. You had better do before you lose all. Goodbye. Yeah, no, no, you've done the right thing. But you know what? Let's look for a way to turn things around for you now. Okay. <sighs> and you know what? Um, what would you like to eat? I think that's the first thing to put in place. Okay. Please come inside. <sighs> oh, come inside, please. <sighs> I should ask you, why, why does sudden change, man? Why? Someone called me, Tony. I was even boasting of myself, thinking nothing would happen to me. But I could see everything, including the aftermath. Who, who, who called you? He called himself. Emmanuel. All right, um, you know what? Get well soon, man. All right? I'll think about it, man. Just get well soon. What? Oh. How does this guy even know these things? This, this, this guy sees things that are beyond, man. Things I can't even be told, man. Look, I really need this thing. Whoever it is that makes a man or see these things and see these things and even know them, right before anyone could know it, then I could know it too, man. Whatever it seems to have, then I should have it. I need to see beyond time too. I need to see beyond time. I need to know beyond tomorrow. I need to stay in, man. I need to have a connection with, with whatever rent I is in. Your manner is kind of different.
Mr. Evil Face. I see for a man named Imani. Is he around? Around here. Yes, sir. Imani. Yes, Who are you? Oh, I am a friend from Prof. Can I come in to see him? Emmanuel? Yes, ma'am. That stupid boy? A wasted investment. Oh, uh, yes, he is. But if I may ask, Mal, where is he? He's no longer here. I sent him away. He can no longer stay with me in this house. Oh. Look, ma'am, I, I really understand. I understand what you may be going through. I understand, ma'am. But there's been some sort of misunderstanding, and I need to talk to him. He has caused me so much heartache. So much problem. He has caused so much trouble already. I don't want to see him here. All right, ma'am. Um, please, can I have his number? Sorry, ma'am. If I may ask, do you believe in Jesus Christ? Of course I do. I preach him. Oh, great. Great. Um, do you know what it means by seeing beyond? Of course. Like um, seeing into the future from now. It's biblical. Yes. Oh, great. Then why do you send him away? Why? If you really saw into a man's future, then you would keep him and have him stay. Not you send him away. There's a bit of truth in what you just said. Perhaps I should have given him time to explain. Perhaps I should have been more lenient with it. Well, ma'am, I'm sorry to announce to you, but you just lost all your chances. If you do not need your boy, I need him, and I'm going to want for him. Good day, ma'am. Have a nice day. Uh, young man, what's the name? Hello? Young man was shared a bit of truth. The man here. Uh, no, no. So, what do you intend on doing now that your brother sent you out of his place? Uh, you see, David, my life is in the hands of God. So, anywhere God leads me, I would definitely go. Oh, but I believe that things will be, be very fine soon. Yeah, that's true. Right. You know, wherever the couple is talking, you know, it goes to share. Exactly. Yeah, because God for that. Exactly. And what about you? How is work? Oh, yeah, my work is. I'm doing fine. And it's doing fine. Who is that? Please come in. Come in. Please come in. Oh, Emmanuel! Yo! Man. Wow. How are you doing, man? Oh, I'm fine. I missed you, bro. I missed you too. Hello, David. Yeah. This is Tony. Oh, you mean Saint Tony? Ah, you're welcome, man. Hey, man. What's up? Ah, you're welcome. How are you doing? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, man. <laughs> so, what's so this? Emmanuel, you actually see beyond. You really do. Look, hmm. the caller called me and, and told me that you told him everything happened and what was going to happen. 
what happened? Oh, man, you should know, man. The caller, the caller, the guy. Look, Emmanuel, for real, legit, I felt the true power and the ripple of Symbiont, man. I felt it, man. Tell me about it. Look, man. The, the caller, that shit, that fraudster, the devil in human skin. He called me. Look, and he told me everything. He's, he's, he can't believe he's in the hospital right now. He's feeling some pains and all. Look, that guy framed me. He framed me. And, and not only that, he confessed to all the lies, the manipulations, the deception and the deceit. And the guy is some sort of pains and wants some sort of forgiveness from me. He called you? He called me, man. He wants some forgiveness from me. Can you imagine? He called you? Yeah, man. He confessed? Look, man. He confessed legit. And, and genuinely, he wants, he's actually remorseful. Like he wants to be forgiven. Um, I could say man. Um, you know, we all make mistakes. And um, it wants a chance to make amends. So I think we should. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see, Tony, forgiveness is a step exactly. towards healing. Exactly. If you truly want to be healed, you need to forgive him. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, wow. Tell him, man. Look, you know, look, this is me, real man. This is me, quick. I really wish to see beyond, man. Look, that thing that you have that makes you see what you see, that thing that you have that makes you see what you see, and it happens, man. I want that thing, man. The supernatural power, that thing that makes you travel in space and time, it makes you see those things that you see, man. I want that real thing, uh, man. <laughs> supernatural power, whatever makes you see straight and vision, straight and sight, and things that make you travel far, man. I want it, man. It's real, oh, man. Mm. It's real. <laughs> I feel it, man. I feel it. Wow. Alright, I'm so much happy with that. She really wants oh, to see me. Come on, you say it again, it's, man. It's not gonna be yours, don't worry. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. This is your friend, right? Yes. Oh, so what's your name I'm again, man? My name is David. That note, Professor, is from the realm of beyond. What do you mean, Tony Parker? What do you mean? Professor, it went behind of you to get what you're looking for beyond. And you are behind because you have not gone beyond. Professor, with all my years of researches and, uh, and journals, both local and international, with all my pedigrees, you know I've known all over. Are you saying I'm behind? Or am I to go beyond? Hmm. And one more thing, Professor. Emmanuel believes in your project, Professor. He really believes in it. And that note is sent to you is to remind you of the importance of wisdom and guidance from beyond and from above. Bring Emmanuel here. Fetch him for me, Tony. Right, Bring Emmanuel here. I need to speak with him. All right, Bring him here. All right. 
Professor, I believe the answer to your project is in something you might not accept. And what is that, Manuel? It's God, Professor. The wisdom and guidance you need are right in front of you, but you are not seeing it. God? You know I don't believe in such things. What if the answers are beyond our comprehension? Sometimes we find wisdom in places we least expect. No, I can't just believe in anything without evidence. Emmanuel, you know. It's not about evidence, it's Professor. It's about faith. To believe in something beyond our comprehension. Enough, Emmanuel, enough! I can't accept this mystical approach. Leave me to my work. I only wanted to be a professor. Think about these things. Leave, Emmanuel! I need to be alone! Leave me! What is... what is... this? I am the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. Who... who... are you? I am the Creator. The one who is beyond your understanding. I am God. I did not believe. You sought wisdom and guidance. I am here to show you that belief goes beyond what you can comprehend. Have faith, and you shall find the answers. I, I, I believe. 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 God is now here. God is now here. I believe. I believe that God is now here! I never thought I would say this. Because it was a divine encounter. I mean, God revealed himself to me, and I believe. <laughs> ah. In fact, I have always known that there was something beyond our understanding. <laughs> incredible, I must say. Really, really incredible. Professor, God's presence is really, really undeniable. This encounter wasn't just for us alone. It is an opportunity for us to embrace God's love and guidance. Tony, Professor, can we officially pledge our allegiance to God? Because any man that doesn't believe in God, such a man is a fool. 
So can we say these prayers after me? Dear Father. Dear, dear Father, Father. I know you're my Father. And I know and that you are my God. And I believe that you exist. Forgive me of all my past ignorance. Forgive me of all my past ignorance. Accept me into your kingdom. And, and accept me into, into your, your kingdom. kingdom. I give my life to you today. Amen. Thank you for saving me. Thank, Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Indeed, God is now here. God is now here. Please subscribe.